Third, Don Moser all set to start the semi-final match. Big game for Don Moser. He didn't look confident in the practice. We'll see if it turns around now. Average the highest of our top five on this pair of lanes at 243 throughout the week and opens up with a soft tap. He's nervous. His heart's pumping. You know, it's a, it's a very important game to him. Kevin Shippey, our public relations director, is saying something to him, and I'm not sure what it is. Cross lane at the 10th. Yeah. Trouble. Not the way you want to open a semifinal game. Especially against a guy that's throwing eight, nine strikes a game. I mean, <laughs> 18 strikes in two games. I mean, nine strikes a game, he's averaging. Something's wrong. I don't know what it is. Brandon backs off. Oh, there's somebody grabbing a seat. To his left. Uh-oh. You know, we're spoiled in bowling. You know, in basketball, they're shooting free throws with people screaming and yelling and waving towels and everything else they can, and nobody notices. See, everybody across the entire country knows that that guy upset George Brandon. And maybe cost him a strike. Just kidding. George probably isn't thinking that. <laughs> He's got a chuckle on the way back. Well, let me ask you this question. Would it have been easier throughout the years in the championship round if people were screaming and yelling during your approach? No. <laughs> well, then what are you complaining about? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's ironic to me, I think, a little bit. You know, the, the bowlers were spoiled a little bit. Of course, golfers are, too. Well, but that's the style of the game. That's true. That is, it's the style of both games. Sure. Stood up early and got himself a surprise on lane 15. And he is human, huh? Yeah, that ball definitely hooked early. You know, he tripped the four and left the nine the last time on that lane, and maybe he didn't move, and the speed was just a little soft there. Although it seemed like he threw it hard enough, but it bites right now. Through the heart, four, six, ten, and Don Mosher's breathing a little sigh of relief right now. Jackie says, that's okay, honey. First open of the night for George Branham. First chink in the armor of any kind. I mean, he's just been invincible for two games. Good shot there by Don Moser. A nice comeback shot on 16, but still leaves the 10 pin. And that's inevitable, right? Well, and right now, what's going through his mind? You know, well, the last time I, I hung in it or I dropped it, I can't, I don't know what he did, but I didn't make a good shot. I've got to make it, get it off my hand clean. She did. Now he's a little more relaxed. Moser's another five-step player. Simply throw all that way tonight. Way at the back of the approach. Pre-bent knees. Now watch the head, how steady the head is all the way through the approach. See this backswing, shoulder high. The head stays steady all the way through the target. He's another one down the spots right at the foul line. Beautiful shot there on 15, so a strike for Don Moser. So far, his best shot of the match. Well, he's had them all in the pocket. A little freer roll. This one gets up there dead flush to get the 10 out. Ran right, right back, back on yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, right back on it. No problem whatsoever on 16. Let's see if he doubles up here. You know, Mike Edwards told me that, uh, that the left lane was hooking about one board more. And it seems to bear out. I mean, they've crept high on that left lane. Chris crept high there. Branham, the last two shots. Needs to make the move with his feet and target then. Of course, he's an experienced inside player, I would think. You know, I can't tell him how to play inside. Looked like a touch more speed, too. Yeah, he was, he was unsure whether that would hold pocket. You could tell from his body English. He kind of stood up and looked at his... I think more than anything else, he might have just gotten a little soft with the speed on that last shot on 15. That's possible. That's possible. Moser with a re-rack on 16. Although the, the bowler track showed that he threw it uh, close, I thought, said 19 miles per hour. Maybe I read it wrong.
Interesting that the 10 pin stands again in chatting with Dave Husted, our top seed just prior to the telecast. He told me, he said, the key for me without question, I, I know I can hit the pocket, it's just whether or not I'm going to be able to carry the 10 pin. But see, Mosier leaving these 10 pins is, is, in my opinion, is because he's not really confident out there. He's not really relaxed, you know, to, to make that shot to get the 10 pin out of there. Don't forget, coming your way on ESPN. Some outstanding opening round tennis action. The Volvo International from New Haven, Connecticut. Always fun to watch the opening rounds. Upsets in the making. And another sport where they keep quiet while they're serving and things like that. But cheer while they're playing. Sure. Probably the best shot of the night thus far for Doc. And he chose to finish on the right lane and uh, hasn't got the 10 pin out on it yet. Again, the left lane rolls a little sooner, close to the fourth arrow. Same ball he's used all week long, Dan. Which anymore is highly unusual. Highly. Have look. Another excellent shot for George Brandon III. I had an opportunity to ask him the keys this week. What did you do well? And how did you get to the final five? What's your approach? I think the key for me is to get out of that first match with the win, you know. Confident and, and win the first match and relax because I'm kind of tense in the first match. And if I can get through that, I think that'll help me. Did that with no problem whatsoever, defeating Mike Edwards 257 to 201. Then he shot 268 the next game. Well, that keeps Mosier in the match. I'm telling you right now, the next frame is the most important frame of the week right now for Don Mosier. Might be the most important frame of his career. It could be. He's got to strike, get a double and a turkey, and get himself back into this match. All right. In your estimation, he keeps leaving the soft 10. Does he make an adjustment on 16, or does he just throw a more aggressive shot? That's exactly it, Dan. A more aggressive shot. When we come back, we'll find out if Don Moser can strike and put himself back into the middle of this match. 